That's how I feel when I write a university exam. Yeah. True North Review. True North Reviews. True North Review. Hey there, welcome to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing Ultra Mono by Idols. Idols, in my opinion, are one of the most exciting post punk outfits in the UK and in recent memory. Their previous album, Joy as an Act of Resistance, was one of the most well executed and ferocious rock records of the 2010s. I love that LP and how noisy, brash, and scummy the sound is on there. Equally, Ultramano is one of my most anticipated albums in 2020. Many of the singles were incredible and are incredible. Some people, though, obviously criticize Idols for being a bit of a one-trick pony, saying that they're one-note, one-dimensional, just screaming the same one-to-two-word punk cliches. And I would say that this record basically embraces that in a louder primal and aggressive state of saying F you. I don't want to say it's out of sheer anger because there is a lot of optimism to be found in Idol's music, as well as uh, satire and critiques of toxic masculinity. But I will say that there is an urgency with what is said on this record, uh, something that has always been a strength for the group. Now, switching gears, the single Ahem was a notable jump out of the comfort zone for Idol's. They got out of the predictable and formulaic territory sonically that we all know and love, but it was trying so hard to stay out of that mold people criticized before, that explosion into the typical idols chorus chanting a single word or two like I was mentioning, and as much as I appreciate the growth and somewhat change with that, maybe adding in a more brooding atmosphere, I almost would have preferred Idols doing their shtick again like the last album. I mean, a hymn as a single essentially builds with no release of tension whatsoever, and knowing that I usually come to their music looking to uh, get a load off and vent some frustration, this came as a frustration for me. So naturally, one single pre-released before Ultra Mono, it had me apprehensive, but my worries were fortunately held at bay. More than just that, they were pushed off a cliff. I had pretty much no concerns coming into this record. That's especially the case when we had the single Mr. Motivator on here. It's a song that definitely is in the running for song of the year. Uh, it's a pure adrenaline hit. Uh, the guitar melody is perfect even though it's abrasive and distorted. The lyrics are satirical and topical. Seriously, I don't think anyone could reference LeBron James and Donald Trump on the same track as well as Idols did here. Speaking more to Towards the lyrics, another single, Grounds, was released as this breeding ground for calling a spade a spade. This stanza uh, demonstrates this quite well. Taking the lyrics into account, many fans will recognize the reverence that this band has both sonically and lyrically, and it is absolute gold when the two come together, and honestly things sound better when they start to sound more arrogant and forceful. For example, on the first 10 seconds of the opening track, War. It shouldn't be a surprise how idols captured their audience's attention with the first lyric being watching. That's the sound of the sword going in. Bizarre idiosyncratic, whatever you want to call it. However, when Joe Talbot shouts one crazy thing after another combined with the rhythmic orgasm that is the drums, uh, it's only then that the full band dynamics can rise and uh, come in and out with the descending guitar line. Sounds like an airplane landing. Just for the intro alone, War is one of the most intense listening experiences that I've heard this year. Now, many critics of the last Idols record also praised the witty and unique lyrics that the group brings to the table. I find that the potency is there for the most part on Ultra Mono with the cut reins taking the cake, you know, reins of the horse or reindeer, if you prefer <laughs> reindeer, and commanding something. Reins is easily one of the best songs on this project in my opinion, even with the strained and bristly vocal takes. Again, 
another strength for this idol's record and their music as a whole i think it is the synergy of this group i already mentioned the reverence being backed by both sonics and lyrics but it also goes the same for the vocals and instrumentation take the track anxiety it's one thing to have the rattling drums with the stereo effects making everything bombastic but they're only accentuated by the delirious shouting at the end of the track having everything synchronized with the snare that sounds like gunshot going off in the ear, this recoil, this onomatopoeia, it all reinforces the motif and the theme of inner turmoil. Now, a record about turmoil obviously has to be sonically confused at some points too, and look no further than the song Kill Them With Kindness to be the one that essentially trolls the listener with a beautiful piano intro, only to keep the foot on the gas pedal and to steamroll ahead with pounding drums. Yeah, nothing like that Selena Gomez song, by the way. Sticking to their guns and reverting back to political discourse, Model Village makes a very strong case against patriotism. Essentially, idols are poking the bear, saying things like a mantra to defend the motherland, only for fans to misinterpret and blind blindly missed the whole point of the song or anthem waving the union jack. It's like claiming excessive pride without checking yourself or evaluating or integrating other aspects of your life. Such a foolish thing that you shouldn't do. Something else you shouldn't do is touch someone without consent, and that's such a simple thing to be understood, but I love the fact that idols use their platform of hardcore rock and punk uh, to state something that should be obvious. This comes on the aptly titled Natu Talbot and vocal feature Johnny Beth, they call out sexual harassment and very concisely and energetically capture the raw feeling of someone screaming as if this song was meant to be an anthem against rape. It's almost carcinogenic if someone breaks that bond and by this point of the record, the song carcinogenic, you might be settled into that formula of idols and how they offer that shouting of the title of the song, the group chanted vocals, the smashing the living hell out of the instruments. Really, if this isn't your cup of tea, I don't see this changing your mind this deep into the album. Not much even changed my mind from disliking this record. Uh, the least memorable moment, there are a couple songs I said I don't like a uh, him, but The Lover is also a low light in my opinion. This track servicing the loudness wars, the dynamics on here are relentless and never really come down from their peak. That being said, the same level of self-awareness can come across in the lyrics that we've heard elsewhere on the record too. Again, rough around the edges with the vocals, almost reminding me of Shrek just the way Talbot says, F you, F you donkey. <laughs> Of course, I had to make a, a Shrek reference there. He doesn't say donkey in the song. But that aside, strap in for one of the noisiest and most violent records we will probably hear this year, Turn It Up and Rage Against the Machine. Ultra Mono's ideas of inner turmoil and self-love, these are timely topics of discussion, whether it's on the small or large scale, uh, whether it's with ourselves or uh, collectively as a society. Um, just opening up and having these discussions with ourselves and each other, it's necessary. Of course, it goes without saying, if you were not a fan of Idols before, I doubt this album will win you over either. But if you're already a fan, if you know, you know, this music is dear to our hearts. So great to hear Idols louder and prouder than ever, having that same tight-knit chemistry and ballistic energy that will have us bouncing off the walls. And uh, with all that being said, I'm feeling an 8 out of 10 on Ultra Mono. There you have it. There's the review for today. Make sure you guys sound off down below in the comments. Tell me what you guys think of this music, whether you agree or disagree. I'm here to engage with you guys. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. I'd appreciate that. As always, thanks for watching and have a rockin' day. Thank you.